Hello everyone. Welcome to Lover Rebel. <laughs> You're such a clown. <laughs> Ladies no, and gentlemen. Prep work no, to you're be done so here, silly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today we are in the Suzuki Vitara Preza. Yep, um, this is basically Suzuki's car between the big Vitara and mm. the Swift. No, Ignis. Yes. So yes. it's like the, the mini big one. Yeah. Small big. Let's see what it performs like. We've got a 1.5 liter force on the engine, the same engine that's found in the Suzuki. That's K, the K15B, yeah. I think it is. 77 kilowatts, 138 newton meters of torque. Let's test it out. Let's go. Why do you always pull a pack? Why are you putting the handbrake up? No, no, because launch control, bro. It's like manual launch control. Go. That's actually not bad. Robot to robot kind of shifts there, bro. Oh, again. And 100. I'm not. <laughs> I'm really impressed. I almost said I'm not impressed. I'm really impressed. That's really not bad. That does way better than I expected. Lovely. like to drive well it's very smooth I'd say I fully like, agree just how easy it is to drive the gearbox is pretty tight speaking of gearbox though especially when you're on the highway it does feel like you were saying this earlier it, it lacks a little bit of a, a gear ratio what yeah. what do you do at 100 what RPM do you do at 120 kilometers so per hour probably at 3600 that's actually so quite high that's not really screaming but you do want to change gears and unfortunately in this if you do change from fifth backwards you end up in oh and that's not race mode that yeah is. no that's break your <laughs> car that's mode pro that's problem mode i can say this early in the video that i'm quite a sucker for suzuki's every suzuki i've had on my channel um i have been quite positive towards uh, i even loved the suzuki what's that small one that looks like you want to give it a hug ignis Ig no 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 the small one in that the really cheap one the espresso oh yes i absolutely Love the espresso. People called me out on it. Oh, yes. How can you like this? The thing, if you do, if you crash into a letterbox, you end up dying. And I was like, I'm done. No. Yeah. I was like, no. It's a, I, every time I see the espresso, I just want to climb out and just hug it and be like, oh, God. But I think the major thing is value for money. Like, they, they managed to squeeze an unbelievable amount of spec value into, into their cars. An affordable package and a small package. So I, I just personally think Suzuki's on a roll at the moment. And I'd kill um, to daily, uh, like I said in the past, a Suzuki um, Sport. What's it called? The the the, the, the 1.4 Sport, the Swift Sport. Swift Sport. Mm. I'm I'm like I'm sold on that car. So steering on this car is incredibly light. Turning in, obviously you don't feel much, but then again, it's not a performance car, so it's entirely appropriate. It's, for this it's sort quite of thing. a valuable car, and yeah. it's made in India. Hmm. Yeah. And brake-wise, they've got EBD, so when you... Yeah, gave you a fright there. <laughs> when you do press the brakes, you actually get something out of it, and it's quite confidence-inspiring. As I mentioned earlier, the gear is quite a short throw and easy to use. Steering wheel is quite nice. We're in the GLX model, so that is the top spec of the manual. Uh, well, price? We've got the manual. So the price of the model we're in today, the GLX manual, top spec, but manual, is 289,000 rand. So, yeah, that's really good value. Four. The yes. speak above this, the auto, mm. is about 309. That's a four speed yeah. torque converter. I mean. The turning circle of this thing is damn good. And then the circle I'm using to turn, because it's a GLX model, has a leather wrapping around it and just makes it feel a little bit more premium. So, mm. it's quite nice. I mean, uh, uh, guys, I haven't spent a lot of time with the car. Alex had the car for the weekend. 
Um, and I didn't really. I actually just drilled the skull once, so the impression you get after this is quite a fresh impression for me. It doesn't look bad. No, it doesn't. I like these projector LED headlights. That's actually quite good that it's LED. Dual X yeah. model. Yeah, and then they work. They work. Yeah. Really and I like. Well. I just like how square these like, like square and like square. It I like. Kind of reminds me of what you, those Nespresso capsules, those coffee pods, man. Like I, two, I actually two color look. I'm getting like a Range Rover, a Land Rover disco <laughs> vibe from like this very flat. <laughs> I think you're gonna get in trouble with the people yeah. out there. For Probably, yeah. But otherwise, I really like the look of this car and I really like that it comes with projector. Oh, my split flop. It comes with projector headlights with LEDs and spotlights on this model. It makes it look more expensive, eh? Yeah. Mm. Let's look under the bonnet. Let me open them up. So, again, uh, Suzuki's 1.5 liter engine, it produces 70. Seven. And how much torques? 138 torques. Now, the engine is deep in here. I don't, I don't think I'm able to find it. And that's it, gonna be that's it. reliable AF. Not much to say. Otherwise, styling wise, <laughs> with the GL and GLX models, you can choose between either hubcaps on the GL and actual 16 inch rims on the GLX. Yeah. And then obviously the two tone options for GLX. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check what the back seats and boot is like of this car. I'm way ahead of you, partner. So 320 liters of boot space. It's not as big as the competitors has, but but it's I decent. Mean, uh, we do. I think we have a full size spare wheel underneath. Yes, you do. You do. At least and you know one fact about the car. Yeah, and also uh, if you close this boot, the styling from the back also really isn't that bad at all. The the Brezza I think just generally is a pretty good looking car. Also with this two tone paint, which Suzuki is also now offering. Let's see what the back seat is like in the Brezza. Okay, so the back of the car, first thing we notice is headroom. Yeah, especially for a melon the size of yours. <laughs> I think it's, it's a really good It size. would have less headroom for you, but you've got no hair. Yeah, uh, no, but it's fine. At least my hairline isn't receding 10 centimeters a day. My line's falling, it's falling off, but anyway. Oh, wait, there's a... What's that noise? You locked the car. But we're in the car. Yeah. Yes, Two cup holders. Yeah. Legroom is not bad. That's actually pretty impressive. But the headrest feels strange. Yeah. Very hard. This is all quite firm, yeah. actually. But I think it will soften with time mm. with more people sitting at the back of the car. No aircon or chargers here. Yeah. And you there's do a, three, a three kg hook, yeah. Definitely an Uber car then, because it's for your suit. I don't think this will be. Do you think this will be used as Uber? I don't think so, but I mean, why you would hang a suit in the back? True, 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 true. Other than that, you've got speakers at the back. Electric uh, windows. Yeah, the Nissan Micro doesn't even have speakers at the back. So, mm. yeah, let's check out the front of the freezer. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, not bad at all. Let's see yeah. if we can get some ignition going here. It's very well equipped. Look at that. Keyless, keyless entry. entry, keyless start. Keys over here Boom. in the center of the car. That's actually quite cool. And you've got them um, two cup holders in the center, a space for change. Uh, oh, turn that off. This thing. Is that your music? I know, that's playing on music. The slow something. jams. 90.4. You've oh. got a center console here for the other car that I'm driving this week's keys in here. And obviously, your air conditioning controls are standard. Auto climate control as well, standard. Yeah, and, and in this infotainment unit, we've seen this before. Why is it? It's playing Android Auto. So you've got go. Android Auto, Apple, Apple CarPlay. Um, the radio is actually quite interesting. It uses a different system, the same system that you find in the... Starlet. Starlet. So this is probably just the aftermarket unit that mm. they're winding up in their cars. But I like it. The icons like are big, too. colorful. The only time it gets a bit irritating is at nighttime. The standard brightness is way yeah. too bright. Guys, check this out. You. Bass, mid-range, and treble. So you can put a V-curve into it and make it sound more appealing to our ears. That's quite cool. I like that they gave you a, a, a proper uh, 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 mid-range setting. 
Um, and then you can also go, obviously, just click the button for your Apple CarPlay. The climate control controls. Climate control, 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 controls. Buttons. Buttons. Super easy to use. It's got, it's got, it's got automatic mm. climate control. Yeah. And analog buttons. You don't faff with touchscreen stuff. Yeah, it's mm. literally like click yeah. and choose. Easy. Other than that, really. And also really this, what, is this supposed to do this or Probably. is it supposed to open all the way? I'm okay with that. It's not an experience. It is cool. It is cool. It's got aircon inside here, which is a nice touch. Cruise control as well in the GLX models and upwards yeah. auto LEDs. Yeah. The only issue is as well at nighttime between about 6 and 7 p.m. as the sun is setting, they tend to confuse themselves. So they'll switch on, then they'll switch off and on and off. And I almost got into a fight the other day because someone thought I was flashing, flashing. Them from oh, behind. Oh, interesting. Because they tend to like think it's night and it's not interesting. night. Interesting. You've got tweeters as well. The mm. tweeters face towards the windscreen, which is quite weird. But what it does do is it kind of creates a, a staging thing going on here. That's what the sound doesn't sound so bad. Mm. And they've also crossed the tweeters over quite high. And there's um, not so much door rattle yeah, as well, loud yeah. it is, but like not 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 as much yeah, as I, I don't expected. think you guys want to know. I'm an audiophile, so I get really technical with this stuff, but that's mm. that thing. Um, the center console, adjustable, so that you can reach your arm. And it works it. perfectly. We'll show you, like literally, yeah. you can change gears on the highway like this. Yeah. It's really nice. Door pockets as well, nice and big. And you've also got a nice big pocket for your bottle cool drinks on the mm. side as well for the bottle and the little wallet holder yeah. yeah Alex and I are going to go on a shopping street to see if we can get some um, props and things like that overall you're, you're buying it you're buying no not me overall we 50 50 so you have to give 50 percent if you're going to buy props <laughs> that's what you said <laughs> anyway so the sunglass tray also is uh, a nice touch most cars I, don't, I think I've driven BMWs that don't have sunglass trays mm. so yeah and then wait one more one mm -hmm. more thing only height no reach not reach okay I and mean, I would complain about this if this was yeah. a 600,000 rand, 400,000, yeah. but it's a 244,000. I love also the way the cluster looks, the square clusters with a lighting pad, it gives it a nice it's still very touch. analog, but still yeah. modern for analog looking. Yeah, very nice. Like right, it. let me hop behind the wheel of the Suzuki Brezza and see what the car's like. I'm going to be the DJ. Yeah. Just pulling the Vitara Brezza away, the clutch is super, like, not difficult to control at all very easy to control, battery smooth, it feels quality, actually feels very Toyota-like. As a daily, I'd certainly buy my mom one of these in automatic, like this thing drives really quality, but this fifth gear is too short, like mm. I'm doing 18, it feels like I need to change gear, that's so weird, I love the square dials in front of me also, we probably spoke on the note of pulling off, sorry to yeah. stop you there, but we swapped driving positions now, while he's driving, and I noticed the door hasn't door locked, locked and we've gotten to 80 k's an hour. Yeah, I forgot Usually you. you have auto lock there. Yeah, this, this is, most Suzuki's don't have auto lock. It's a Japanese thing apparently. So there's something I picked up now that I don't like. Um, the steering wheel is very strange on center. It kind of, where you, where you put it, it doesn't go back to like the road's gonna go straight now and it's still turning. And if I turn it that way again, it's again sticking. So I just, I think it's probably because this car is very new, but the on center, the center just feels very strange to me. But once you're in a corner and you're turning it, it's perfectly fine. The throttle pedal also very instant. This Suzuki engine that they have in the Germany is really impressive. When I say impressive, I don't mean the fastest thing on the planet. I mean, it just feels like a very energetic little car. The Vitara Breza is definitely a solid recommend from me. It's definitely one of the better, cheaper cars I've driven. Mm -hmm. I've driven a lot of cars from Datsun Ghost to the, uh, the Renault Triber, which was a really... That was actually quite good. Yeah, it was, I think. it was cheap, but the clutch was unfathomable trying to pull away. You'd stall it almost instantaneously when you tried to pull the car away. Terrible clutch. But other than that, the tri had value, and that's what Suzuki's done here. They've crammed a lot of tech in this top-of-the-line GLX model, and I'm very impressed that Suzuki hasn't skimmed on features. Even the sound system here is really impressive, so it's a solid recommend yeah, for it's me. Not, it's not Bose, but I mean, like, for a budget, or not budget, affordable car, rather. Yeah. This is the... It's decent, but I'm not gonna lie, it's better than the Suzuki Swift Sport, and it's better than the Suzuki Jimny, which Jimny just sounded like it had no rubbers on the surrounds yeah. and it's just rattling in the door panels. This is actually a good, a decent sounding stereo. 
So that's our thoughts on the new Suzuki Vitara Brezza. Yeah, I fully agree with you. Um, I, th I think you and I have really lined up when it comes to this car. Mm. Uh, again, I haven't spent as much time you have with it. Um, space in the back, as we show now in the interior, mm. is decent, and the boot isn't that big. But, but compared to the competitors, it is small. But I mean, look, you can flip down the seats, man. And we saw some responses on the, the Facebook post that we made. People were quite positive about it. Mostly. There was a, there was a guy that was like, oh, influence, influencers are, are hyping this car up. Like, it's, as That's I said in the reply, it's not about hyping, hyping. it or just drive one. It's, it's a good product. We're just trying to give our honest yeah. feedback on the things. And know? it's going to be reliable mm. down the long run. Anyway, guys, that's our take on the Brezza. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be free. Be you. Liberable out. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Liberable. Oh, okay, cool. Just <laughs> who's saying what you today? Know, the stuff is going to need to be pretty even. What do you mean? I was just saying who's saying what? We'll insert the price of the, the manual GLX now okay, cool. on the screen. Okay. And what price is that? I've got to double check it. So? I can't use my phone while I'm driving. You use your phone while you're like, Google, do some Googling, man. Uh... <laughs> Didn't do your homework, did you? What? <laughs> You. <laughs> do you know how many liters this is? Of I don't know. Google it? I didn't do the research on this car. You had it for four days. Yeah. So you know like a million other facts. So you how, much liters, like, fact. how much liters is the boot then if you know a million other facts? I didn't know that one. That's why I was asking you. No, I'm, one not, fact. I'm, I'm not reviewing the car. I'm just here as um, your... What's the thing that the old man needs to hold on? Uh, crutch. A crutch. I'm basically just your crutch. It's like a broken crutch though. No, far a from it. it talks too much. Hold on. Boot size. <laughs> be free, be you, laborable out. Oh, what else was the laborable out? <laughs>